Hi folks, my name is Jem, I'm the Crazy Pigeon Lady and it's my mission to entertain, educate and inspire you with all things Pigeon and Dove. Uh, welcome back to my Pigeon series. In this month's Pigeon, I'm going to teach you how to speak Pigeon. Uh, and this video, this pigeon is specifically about the rock dove Columba Livia, uh, the ancestor to all feral and domestic pigeons. Now, unlike other songbirds, pigeons have quite limited range of vocalisation. So we're quite familiar, probably, with our towns and city birds making a coo sound. So why do pigeons coo? Well, pigeons make coo sounds for the same reason that other birds make vocalisations, which is to do things like communicate with other birds in the local area, particularly for rock pigeons as they're a social species. They also coo to attract mates or to communicate with their own mates. They also make coo sounds uh, as communication with other members of the flock to do, for example, alert them to danger. Now, pigeons make the coo sound by inflating air sacs inside their bodies and they constrict um, their vocal canals inside and they push the air uh, from those air sacs through that and make the sound. And the air sacs help to amplify that sound um, out so it can be heard by other birds. And cooing is quite a low frequency sound and, and pigeons have particularly good hearing in the lower frequencies, which means they would be able to hear the coo from a much further distance than their own human ears would. And so it would carry with the help of those air sacs amplifying it over a great distance and be heard by many birds. So let's talk about the different types of coo that pigeons make. Well, pigeons coos generally fall into about three different categories. General contact or calling coos, um, display coos, and coos for alert or warnings. Now within these three different categories, there are some subtle differences in between how these coos are made. So the context is important. So when trying to interpret what pigeons are saying, it's also important to look at their behavior and their body language, as well as the sounds that they make. And to find out more about this, please check out episode six of my Pigeons as Pets Beginner's Guide series, which is all about handling and understanding behavior. Now, first of all, in terms of the contact and the calling coos, this is a general coo that's used for communication and it can mean anything from I'm here to who's there, is anybody there, and just generally trying to make general contact. And it sort of goes something like this. Now the tone of this may vary, it can be a little more plaintive and desperate if they're trying to call to a specific bird, let's say their mate for example. Now I'm going to call to Anna here, who you can't see off the screen, and we'll see if we can get her to come to me. There she is. <laughs> so I used the contact call to coo her, uh, to call her to me, uh, specifically the more plaintive version of the coo where it intensifies in volume and duration. This coo can also be used as a nest call, which is a more quiet and intimate call that would be used between mates at the nest site. So it's more head down, lower, softer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, usually accompanied by certain flirtatious behaviour. And sometimes this coo can become kind of broken as a sort of like a clucking sound. So anyone who's got a pigeon as a, as a pet that's bonded to them, perhaps if they're stroking them or petting them, this soft nest call may sound a little bit more like a, a chicken clucking. Well, it's also maybe sometimes described as a purring, that the soft nest coo is also described as a purring. So that's the range of contact cues, a general contact cue, intensified to call a mate, softened to communicate with a mate on the nest site and may develop into a sort of clucking type sound as an indication of content. Then we get onto the display coos, and many of us have probably seen this in our towns and cities, particularly with, with males who are uh, strutting around trying to attract a female. It's what I call the gobbling coo, because it's a coo that kind of ripples, almost like the 
gobbling of a turkey. So, this <laughs> Anna's back again. Uh, she obviously likes the sound of my voice. Um, this gobbling coo might end in a kind of a whack whack kind of sound. So, whack whack, whack whack, whack whack. You might hear that. Uh, at a distance, that sound is particularly made by the, the male birds as part of their display. And this gobbling coo, it cannot just be used for a courtship display when trying to attract a female, it's also used as a dominance display as well. So in general, the gobbling coo means, look at me. Um, it might mean, look at me, I'm big and strong, don't mess, I'm a dominant bird, or it might mean, look at me, aren't I a very handsome and attractive bird, wouldn't you like to mate with me and have some babies? Mostly these gobbling coos are made by males, although I should say that female birds kept in captivity can develop some masculine behaviours, and so the making of a gobbling coo, the display coo, is not necessarily an indicator of gender, uh, but certainly outdoors amongst wild birds it's far more likely to be the males that make this sound for dominance or for courtship. So then we move on to the third type of cue, which is the alert or the warning cue. And this is just a short, sharp grunt. Uh, uh. And in fact, you can get a little bit of back and forth going with, uh, with, with, with a pigeon, particularly if a pigeon is a pet. Um, you can get a bit of back and forth going with them on that if you make that call. And it's general alert or warning call. So if a pigeon sees something that's a threat, of a distance or it hears something that's a threat from a distance and, and pigeons have much better hearing than we do particularly at low frequencies so they'll be able to hear something fairly distant they'll make this grunt or warning coup to alert the other members of the flock uh, to the potential presence of danger uh, and unless that danger becomes near and immediate um, they will just keep using the alert call to make sure that the members of the flock are aware that a threat is present. So there you go. In summary, I've taught you the very basics about how to speak pigeon. The pigeons make cooing sounds of three different kinds for general contact or calling, for displays of dominance or courtship, and alert and warning cues. So I hope that I'll be able to use that call to call Anna to me now to say goodbye. So let's give that a try. Ooh, ooh. There we are. Thank you for joining us for this Pidgeycation Monthly. Uh, please like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you can hear about my next video and I shall hope to see you in the next one. From me and Anna, goodbye!